And well, trust me, weight low at a road course is, is critical. Where you want that weight right now is heavy on that right foot because you're about to plant it to the floor. Green flag ready to come out. There it is, and we're off and racing with the Bush North Series at Watkins Glen. And this first turn down at the bottom of the front straightaway, it can be treacherous because you're heavy braking, you're downshifting, you're turning the right, and it's a one-group racetrack. Everybody wants to get to the bottom of the racetrack right here. Everybody through turn one. Up through the S's. Through the S's, uphill, left, right, left. Oh, one car off. Scott Bully in the way, and we're stacking them up. Oh, oh my God. My. One car up and over and over the fencing. Wow. There's got to be 10 cars involved in this one, and one literally out of the ballpark. And the whole racetrack is completely blocked. And I mean, this was all from one car getting in trouble up through these narrow S's, and all these cars behind them, beginning of the race, stacked up behind him. The red flag comes out immediately. The 98 car is in there. Mike Johnson, I saw the 94. Mike Speakman. John Kohler, the 18 car. Let's look at this again, Larry. Two cars make contact there, including the 26 machine, Scott Bully. And these cars just start stacking up behind him. See look Corey at Heath come in there in the 12th car. Is that the 21 of Troy Williams that goes right up and over the wall? It is. Troy Williams at a champ in New York comes flying over the wall. Look at this, though. This is full speed right here. Here comes right there. That was the 21 car, Troy Williams. And, you know, these guys, they have spotters here, but this place is so big, it's hard for sometimes the spotters to see the entire racetrack. And there you see, because the racetrack is blocked, the red flag being displayed, they're going to stop the cars as they come off turn one here before they head back into the S's. It's a 98 car right there, John Serbone. So the emergency crews are over immediately to start checking on the drivers to see a couple of the cars moving away. That's Kelly Moore's 47 machine, the Napa car, and he's even got one of the orange cones wedged up in there. He comes in here fourth in the points. This could be a big hit for him. Already had trouble in qualifying. Transmission jammed in third gear, and he had to run the whole lap in third gear. That's the reason he qualified so bad. Well, you see the high-flying Troy Williams has crawled out of the 21 car, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 